Okay, so tonight, you guys, first of all, thank you all for being on here. We are, um, we have got 10 days left of the month, not even, eight, however many days are in February this year, 28, maybe, this year? It's not a leap year, is it? I don't know. <clears throat> so we have eight days left in this month, and, um, and you guys, it has... A lot of you guys are, are killing it with Success Club. I think there's like three or four of you guys that already have Success Club already. There's a lot of you guys that have Success Club points on the board. Um, and so I'm so um, excited about what we're going to be talking about tonight. First of all, Hannah is going to be talking to us about – First, she is um, she's a one-star diamond coach. She has a diamond um, – her name is Bree. I don't know if she's on here yet. Um, and they have a killer team, um, super, uh, dense. I mean, just like powerhouse type of people on her team. And, um, she is, Hannah is, has been a coach for two years now. Uh, like 15 months, 15, I signed in, I joined in October, uh -huh. October. That's right. Okay. So it was October this last year. So yeah, so she's relatively new, but she kind of hit the ground running. She, she has like no normalcy in her life. Her husband's gone, well, has gone a lot. They just recently moved. They've got so much going on in their life and yet she still makes her business a priority. But what her and I decided that we wanted um, her to talk about tonight was fake it till you make it. And I think you guys are going to walk away with some incredible information. Um, I want to get started quickly so that we can get on and off because Hannah has the flu and she decided to come tonight anyway, which speaks volumes of her leadership right there. Um, so she's faking it as we speak. She's a faker right now. So, total faker. Um, so um, let's go ahead and just let her get started, and then we'll open it up for Q&A at the end if you guys have any questions after Hannah speaks, okay? So if you think of anything, jot it down, and we'll, um, we'll ask her at the end. All right, go ahead. Awesome. Sounds good. Okay, I have a PowerPoint, so I'm going to try to share my screen and figure this out. Not the best. Okay, does that work? Jess, is that okay? Do I need to do the full PowerPoint, or is that okay like that? Good. Okay. Um, okay. So a little bit about me. Um, I share my story all the time, but I kind of start with Beachbody and I give little bits and pieces, but um, I had my third baby in March of two or February, 2012. And he was eight weeks old. And I went, like, I looked in the mirror and I'm like, I'm still in maternity clothes. Who is this person? I don't even recognize myself. My husband was a college athlete. I'd never worked out a day in my life. And I'm like, I got to do something. So I bought a, a group on to a gym and went for a month. I bought a group on to another gym, went for the second month, bought a group on to a third gym, went there for the third month. Um, and then I lasted there for about a year and a half and I loved it. I loved the community. I loved um, all the activities and stuff. It changed every day, but I was getting up at four 30 in the morning, driving 15 minutes, the workout was an hour, getting home at 6.15. My husband left us, like we high-fived in the driveway as he pulled off. Um, it just wasn't a sustainable lifestyle. Uh, it was good in that season. But then we moved, and I was too far away from the boot camp. I hadn't had proper nutrition training. I had been going to, um, to the library and just re reading about clean eating and stuff. So I was, um, there's an eating disorder called orthorexia. And I didn't have it fully, but it's where you're, obsessive compulsive about healthy eating and so when people ask me to go um, to Mexican food and rather than going and making a healthy choice I just would refuse to go um, and so I struggled with the mindset of, of balance and stuff so fast forward to September 2015 and I had put 20 pounds back on we had moved um, we were part I was part-time homeschooling my husband is a head coach at a high school um, he's a football coach we just had a lot going on and I went, you know what, something's got to change. But I, I have this love for fitness. Like I fell in love with it. I fell in love with nutrition. I fell in love with community. Is there a way, like if there was a way I could like marry these two, it would be amazing. But I feel like I'm drowning. Like I can't get to the gym. I, yeah, anyways, I don't have formal training. And so um, 
Jess messaged me and we got to chatting and this, this beach body thing really has, um, it fell in my lap, but it filled in all of the voids that I felt like were missing, the, all the holes. So I've, I've lost um, about 20 pounds. My husband's lost 20 pounds and we've been able to, we've moved um, in December. We've switched jobs. Um, we've been through a lot of transitions, but we've been able to maintain it because of Beachbody. So that's a little bit about me. And I decided I've been a stay at home mom um, since our second daughter was born. And my husband has always said, you have to go back to work when the youngest hits kindergarten. And so for me, it's like, I don't want to go back to work. I want to be able to do field trips and stuff. So I got to make this thing work. Like I got to make Beachbody work. He'll go to kindergarten next year. I had um, this school year, I had two summers. I'm like, okay, I'm going all in. I'm going to fake it till I make it. And I don't have a choice or I'm going to have to get a job. And I don't want to go get a job. So that's kind of where my heart is, is I just, I, I believe in it and I want it. So I'm just going to fake it. I'm just going to put myself out there. So um, I'm going to talk about elite mindset versus elite status. Um, to get to elite, um, you have to think it, you have to believe it, you have to go for it and realize that you can, you can be elite, that you are not um, low level, you are not just a coach, you are not just, um, just another person who does this thing. Um, if you've ever read GoPro, which I highly recommend if you haven't, um, Eric Worre has this quote, and I just love it. It says, the greatest benefit isn't getting what you want, the greatest benefit is what you'll need to become in order to get what you want. I learned what was always there and what has been passed down for ages. The journey is everything. And that's so just, it's how I feel that it's in the journey and you need to become, um, you need to become a elite. You need to fake it till you make it and it'll come. It's in there. Like you have nothing or you're not lacking anything that someone else has. We all started at zero. We're all born from a mom. Like everyone is equal, but you have to think it. Um, think it until you believe it. So I just, well, I was looking up the elite and if you follow coaching, so the elite are like the people who have hit five star, um, <coughs> pardon me. Sorry if that was super loud. Um, so they are, um, the best at anything considered co collectively. Um, they're a group of class or persons. They're the highest class and they are exercising the major share of authority or influence within a larger group. And honestly, that's what I just, that's what I want for my life. And that's what I want for you guys, not just in coaching, but in, in everything I do, I want to um, be an influencer. I want to um, share what I have. I want to be, um, we talk about this a lot, a river, not a reservoir. So in order to get to, to in technical terms, elite within Beachbody, um, you've got to put yourself out there. You've got to be willing to take some of the authority. You've got to be willing to influence others. And you've got to believe in yourself that you have something to share. And you do, you all have stories. You all have, um, things that have happened to you. And, um, so I'm going to just move on. Hold on. Just fake it till you make it. Okay. So, um, act like you're qualified, even if you don't think you are, this is like the biggest one for me. You just, act like you are the boss act like you own it um so i for example we're on a prayer team at church and this sunday um <laughs> i was up at the front and people can come get prayer if they want it and no one no one came to me and it's totally fine it happens all the time there's a lot of us but it kind of qualifies you because you're there and you're present and then when i got home i actually had two people me facebook message me that they were like, I wanted to come and talk to you, but I didn't know what to say. So can you call me and stuff? So um, it's not necessarily that in the moment, but when you act like you're qualified, it qualifies you. So even if you don't think that you are, put yourself out there and act like it and it will become. Um, the next one I had is imitate the greats. So study, um, study other coaches, study other people, study, um, the top coaches do what they do. Don't, don't copy. Um, but do what they do. Are they sharing? Are they, um, using lighting? Are they, um, yeah, just, yeah. Anyways, I could go on and on about imitating people, but 
um, do the things you're good at is so important also because we all have different gift sets. I am not a personal trainer. Um, I am not a nutritionist. I just am someone who's passionate about it. So what I am good at is I'm, I'm good at copywriting. I feel like I can come up with good words and stuff, but I'm not that great at other things. And so figure out what you're good at and do it and own it, but don't feel like you're lacking when um, you see someone else who makes awesome workout videos in there every single day or when they share their story or their transformation photos are breathtaking. Um, do what you're good at and own it. Um, another thing is to write down positive affirmations. So write a mission statement, a belief statement, write things you love about yourself, put them on your mirror, make your vision board, put it on your mirror, put it in your car dashboard, put it on the refrigerator. And I mean, honestly, it'll be a game changer for you. Cause then when you look in the mirror, you won't go, uh, my pants are tied or, um, <clears throat> I'm sweaty and gross or whatever, but read it, like, let it speak life over you. Yes. I am a leader. Yes. I am. Um, I have authority. Yes, I am beautiful. Yes, I am um, courageous. Yes, I can step out of my comfort zone. So that is, um, that's something I feel like everyone should do just in life in general. Um, I actually, in my challenge groups, include that. I'm like, hey guys, write down something and put it on your mirror. Affirm yourself every single day. Um, the other thing is spending time on YouTube. Google, Google some of the coaches. Um, I'll watch one training video from say like Caleb Thomas and then from there um, I'll spaghetti off and hit somebody else's and hit somebody else's and hit somebody else's but there's amazing training on YouTube there's amazing content um, anything you need to know there's a video on it how to use pick monkey on the computer how to use an app um, how to do my challenge tracker um, all sorts of stuff. So spend time on YouTube. Um, I also had this quote by Mark Twain. Um, keep away from people who belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that, but they really, but they're really great. Make you feel that you too can become great. Um, <clears throat> surround yourself with like-minded people. Um, I had this thought of like you work in a restaurant, right? And um, you are a chef. You're not like the chef, but you are a chef. You're a sous chef or whatever. Um, but when you have a break, you can pick anyone you want to hang out with and you're always hanging out with the bussers. You're with the dishwashers, the bussers, you're hanging out with them. Um, or when you have a break, you're hanging out with the head chef and you're learning and you're networking and you're talking. So it's like you have the option. Who are you going to, who are you going to choose to surround yourself with, with the people who are who are above you, who are going places, who you can learn from and grow from, or from people um, that aren't where you are or aren't going where you are or have different gifts. So I just would challenge you to don't let people get you down if they don't see your vision, if they don't see where you're going. Um, you, you, have a, you have a purpose and surround yourself with people who, <coughs> sorry, who value that purpose. Okay. The next one, this is like, I'm so, so, so passionate about investing in yourself, y'all. I literally spent every dollar I made last year on beach body things. So get to Summit. Um, a lot of you on this call have been to Summit. If you have not, get yourself there. If you're a new coach in your first three months, you can earn a success starters um, and go for free. You can um, get a hundred dollar ticket. There's a discount code in your new coach um, packet. Um, Whatever you can do, get yourself there. You learn from the best. You get to hug all of us in person. Um, and it builds credibility. It's amazing. Um, attend Super Saturdays. If you don't have one, start one. Um, it's a great way to come together with people who live locally. A lot of us you know, live in different states and we're not around people in the day-to-day -day life who are doing what we're doing or doing our workouts. And so it's so fun to meet people, meet military people and teachers and Man, that's my husband and one of my discount coaches um, there. And then commit to the success club trip. And this is where y'all, you put your money where your mouth is. Like, are you in it or are you not in it? Okay, there's a deposit. And once you put that deposit down, you can't get it back. <coughs> and this is what I talked about with my husband. <clears throat> this trip is not an all expense paid trip. It's not like they fly you there and they pay for everything. You have to fly yourself there. Like, it's an investment but it is worth every penny because it's a select group of people. 
not everyone gets to go. You have to qualify, which is not hard to do. Um, but it just, um, it's something that is irreplaceable in this business. And if you work in a nine to five job, you can't go on trips. And if you are, you know, staying at home with your kids, how often can you like take your, your best friend or your mom or your husband to the Caribbean for five days? Like commit to the success club trip and go for it. Go as hard as you can for the whole year, get as many success club trips, uh, success club points as you can and earn it. Um, and then seize every opportunity. This is, uh, this photo is from mermaid camp, which was in Florida this year. And you had to earn it to get to go. Um, and for me, it was a no brainer cause I saw it as a marketing opportunity. Um, which brings me to the next one. I'm going to kind of touch on that a minute in a second, but, um, I'm all about marketing myself, fake it till you make it like put myself out there, show that I'm doing things. So on the note of like the mermaid camp in the going to Tampa, these are posts I made. Coach A, um, that's a photo of me saying I'm going to Punta Cana. That's a map of, um, I was, I announced I was going to the mermaid camp. That bottom one is um, saying, hey, we're going to success club trip in 2018. So, so you say you have that coach who's like, I'm going on these trips, I'm doing these things. And then you have coach B over here who just is posting on challenge groups. Every month, challenge groups, the free eating groups, they're doing the same thing. They're both hitting the same success club. They're both um, on team calls. They're both amazing people. But one has credibility and leverage with their network and their community because of putting themselves out there and investing in themselves. So that's the best way. <coughs> I'm so sorry that it's a lot um, of faking it, I feel like, is um, doing trips, doing success club um, trips, uh, summit. I've had a couple people come up to me recently just at my kid's school and say, hey, congratulations. I'm like, on what? They're like, your trip to Mexico. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that. Thank you so much. I'm like, I have to earn it. Like this year, you guys, I've got to get success club 10 every single month. But if I didn't commit to that trip, I wouldn't really have a motivation to be hitting success club 10 every month other than finances or helping people, but it's just that extra step. But then people see me and they're like, Oh, she must be doing things. Cause she's going to these things. She's going to Florida. She's going to Nashville. She's going to wherever. And so I just really value investing in yourself. Um, personal development, uh, trips, um, anything that you can do to set yourself apart from the status quo from everyone else is how you're going to make it in this business. Um, the other thing I had was on, um, when I watched a bunch of YouTube videos in the beginning, I, um, studied people's Facebook pages and learned about what they did and how they, um, changed things and moved things around. And my Facebook page was not public. It was private and, um, had a lame banner and that kind of stuff. But uh, one of the things they said was be a forever student. <coughs> I'm so sorry. And I'm also like sweating like a pig. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> okay. So <coughs> I didn't know how to, um, <coughs> screen share me doing the video. So I recorded it, but these are a couple, write these down of my Facebook tips that I did right in the beginning to your Facebook page to kind of set you apart and make your page more coach friendly. I'm going to play it. Tell me if you can hear it. Okay, so a couple tips I got are when studying other coaches about <coughs> page and um, different tips and stuff, but top, top two, uh, the first one is hiding your friends. So right now, I can see my friends. Um, I can see how many friends I have. I can see who they are. But if you view my page or if a public person views my page, they can't see them. So they can see mutual friends down here, but they can't see my friends. And this is so important in our industry because we're networkers, it's what we do. We um, send friend requests to people, we meet people, and I don't want people from other companies doing that to my friends. So I, I wanna protect them and treat them with integrity and with respect. And so I hidden them so that people from other businesses can't come in and just friend request or mass mass contact all my people. So that's a simple way to um, just kind of take your page up a notch. The second thing is to block posts, um, not block posts, but 
preview post that people share to your page. So we talked about last week how your top five posts should be something about you, Beachbody, um, your workouts, transformations, challenge groups, um, and we had a whole training on that. Well, if people start sharing stuff, then then your page gets cluttered really quick, and, it, and you may not even notice it because you're not on. So what I've done is I've gone over here to settings, to timeline and tagging, and then I put who can post posts on your timeline, just my friends, and then review posts, review posts friends tag you in before they appear on time. So I just do that and I enabled it. So that way, when everyone, someone tags me in a photo or, <coughs> um, or share something to my wall or comments or, you know, whatever. So I, I can review it first. So that way, when I go out to dinner with all of my coaches and all five of us post the same picture, we all tag each other in it. It's not on my page five times. It's on my page one time I did it. Or I can add to the timeline for the one for one of the other coaches. But that's another way to keep your page from getting cluttered. Um, the last tip I have for you for Facebook is to really look at your intro. Um, what does it say about you? It should be simple, short, and sweet. But then also these five photos right here, you can change them. So make sure you can put them edit right here. Make sure that they're of your face, of a transformation, um, tell something about you, show your family, a puppy, your goofiness, your personality. Um, but that's kind of like your storefront and also your cover page. So make sure that those um, show your face and not a, not other people so they don't know how to guess who you are. Um, but yeah, so uh, make sure those photos are good. Hide your friends and um, preview people's posts before they comment on your page. So those are my tips for Facebook. Um, <clears throat> it's one thing I noticed when I went through and I studied people was they didn't have a whole bunch of sharing. They didn't share funny videos. I mean, occasionally, but they didn't share other people's posts. You can repost things. You can change them and make them your own. Um, but don't let your page get cluttered. Make it your page. Uh, so <clears throat> that is what I had on that. So the last thing I had was to visualize yourself. Like visualize where you want to be in a year or in four years. There's a book called The Four-Year Career, and that's what this business is about. It's um, not short-term, you jump in, and then like all of a sudden you're Michael Phelps. It's you work for it, and you are faithful, and you show up every day. So if you haven't read The 12-Week Year yet, um, Jessica's read it. I'm reading it right now. Um, it's amazing just about setting little goals and then working towards them um, as if your year is only 12 weeks and not 12 months. It um, creates momentum and um, intensity. And it says the vision, uh, Brian Moran, who wrote the book, says vision is the starting point of all high performance. You create things twice, first mentally and physically. And that is so true. You have to think it before you believe it. If you think that you are going to be elite, if you think that you can hit success club, if you think that you are worthy of someone being in your challenge group, if you think that you can lose 10 pounds, it can happen but you've got to believe in yourself. And so my call to action um, for this call is what's one thing you know you need to do, but you haven't. So I feel like we all have something that we've, it's been in the forefront of our mind. We've written it on a post and note. We're like, I know I need to do this. What's one thing that you know you need to do as a coach and then post it in the more than conquerors group so that we can hold you accountable so that we can um, champion you and cheerlead with you and, and, and get you to that next step and help you grow as a leader and grow um, yeah, as a coach and stuff. So that's all I have for you guys. If you have questions, I'd be happy um, to answer them. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen somehow. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Awesome, Hannah. That that was incredible. And that's exactly um, <clears throat> what I felt like she was so awesome to talk about is honestly just it, basically all of you guys, you know, some of you guys have said, well, I, I haven't made a ton of money yet in Beachbody or um, I haven't, I don't feel like I'm like as successful as a lot of other coaches. So I can't really talk about it. The thing is you can, you just have to get very, 
You just have to get unique with it. But it's also going to make you put skin in the game. If you're not going to Super Saturday, I mean, Super Saturday is the easiest thing you can start off doing. Super Saturday is the easiest thing that you can start off doing. Why? Because it's already somewhere close to you. It's in your community somewhere. It's in an hour's drive. It's, in, it's down the street. You can take a friend with you. You can take a potential coach with you. It's a three-hour thing. You get to work out. It's like a mini summit. You get to network and you get to meet other Beachbody coaches. That is where you have to start. You have to start with something like Super Saturday. It's usually free. Sometimes it costs 10 bucks. You know, sometimes it costs whatever. Sometimes Carl Dyker comes to your, you know, Super Saturday. Um, but if you go to the FAQ in your coach online office, you can find out where they are in your area. The next one is in April. Um, and every one of us should be going to them. Um, and that's where I started. There was not a Super Saturday in my area. So guess what? I decided to do one on my own. I'd never done it before. I was scared to death and I had 12 people come. Um, and it was the scariest thing, but I faked it. These people thought I knew what I was doing. And that little did they know I had stayed up all night long preparing for this. And I was scared out of my mind, but I knew that I couldn't not attend. So, um, I love your call to action, Hannah. What do you think? Um, does anybody have any questions for her or you think like, you know, man, that was an awesome point that really hit me. Does anybody have anything that they want to say or comment on or ask her a question about? I love what she said. I love what you said, Hannah, about just committing to the success club trip and committing to just going to events. Um, cause you know, I, I was not like that when I first signed up. Um, I think probably I went for a whole year, I think without going to super Saturday. Um, and I started, I, I almost quit because I started burning out and I, and I, I ran out of my warm market and I wasn't, you know, doing the vital behaviors and I wasn't, but I wasn't connect. The main thing though, is I wasn't connecting in to these things. So I was like, well, what, what do I need to go meet with other coaches? And you know, what's the point in that? But man, as soon as I started going to that stuff, my business just exploded. Like as soon as I started showing up to the team calls, going to super Saturday, after my first summit, that was the same year, that same, that same year, it was my very first summit. And, you know, and then I think a lot of new coaches don't think they can commit to the success club trip because they're a new coach, which that's so totally not true. And I love what you said about that because, you know, you should just say, I'm going to go, I am going next year and just make that your goal. Even if, it's, even if it's success club 10 every single month is what it takes to get you there. I mean, what an awesome motivation. It's such so worth all the work. Those trips, like you said, take be able to take your husband. It just, it's awesome. So. And while she was talking about um, just faking it till you make it, it also comes with your rank too. I mean, it built your rank builds credibility. I mean, you guys, if you're not Emerald, think about it. If you became Emerald, not only do you get like a huge shout out from your coach, but all these people that are on your, that are your friends with you have no idea what Emerald means, but they don't care. They're like, oh man, she's Emerald. I don't know what that means, but I mean, that's pretty awesome. Like, look at her. She's already rank advanced and she's just been, she just started coaching or, you know, she's already rank advanced and she has these people on her team or, you know, she just started, you know, whatever it is. So, um, think about, so I was talking to somebody on our team who's not on the call tonight, but she was saying, yeah, man, I hope I, uh, my goal is to get to Emerald before summit. And I was like, summit, what? like that's six months from now no no well, you get to summit way sooner than that you can't set these crazy audacious like huge uh, timelines on your goals you can't because guess what it'll you'll never hit it you'll never make it happen um 
So you've got to set shorter goals. Emerald, for those of you who are brand new who may not have a clue what I'm talking about, is just two coaches on your team. Just two coaches on your team. So, um, you know, that is – it's a huge milestone and it's, a, and it's worth celebrating and being really, really um, excited for. Um, so I just, I love that. I think this is amazing. And no, no, you do not have to have huge success in this business to act like you are a successful coach. You're, it starts with your mindset and what you think you are. Um, so that was awesome. So we'll have um, the call to action. Does anybody else have anything they want to say before we get off? want to say a uh, really great job Hannah I'm so proud of you and I I agree with her about like mermaid camp and summit it was a game changer and it was also so cool because like we all got to know each other and connect on a different basis now like just Hannah and I were fortunate to go to the same college but um everyone else like we didn't know at all like we didn't have any connections like Laura and I like and Katie and Melanie like we all just got to know each other like hear bits and pieces throughout the year but like it's so different like being like together and getting to know one each other because then we can support each other in a different way because now we have a different way to relate to a person on our team so I think it was really important that um Hannah pointed all that out and I just I think you did a really good job and I love you and I'm praying that you feel better soon thank you so much for sharing Hey, Hannah, would you mind posting that video that you made in the, in the team page, the one with your tips for Facebook? Because there were some really, I love um, telling new coaches to hide their friends list because um, yeah. a lot of people don't, even a lot of seasoned coaches don't have their Facebook friends list hidden. And I didn't have it hidden for like two years until I first realized that my whole friends list was just like out there in the public. So I just think it looks so much. Yeah. Also, I think it looks more professional too. Yeah. Like you have yeah. millions of friends that you don't want people to see. No, not really. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll post it in there. And it, it also, like you said, like for just the respect of your friends and their privacy too, not being able to see that, that list is, is good. I yeah. I would love to be able to share that. If you could post it in More Than Conquerors, I'd love to share it in yep. my personal, personally sponsored page too. I've been trying to do that second tip for so long. And so I just did it for the, like to um, not have people post on your page. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, it, I totally get it. My mother-in-law, I love her pieces, but she'll tag me in pictures that have nothing to do with me, but it's because it's my family. Like it's Matt's family. So I'll have like 42 mm -hmm. pictures of them at the zoo. Not one is of one of my children in it. And I can't figure mm -hmm. out like how to like, hide. so I go and hide them all. But like, mm -hmm. I, you know, for those reasons, cause you know, I mean, that's just what mother-in-laws do or whatever. But, um, yeah, so I've I did it. I did it because of the mother-in-law. So <laughs> That That's why I originally did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had to hide something on my timeline today. My sister tagged me in something very inappropriate. And I didn't want, like, you know, people to mm -hmm. see it. It was like a yeah. meme, but it was very, like, it wasn't professional at all. I had to delete it from my page. It's not okay. Yeah. So there you go. For reasons like that. Yeah. So I'm going to do that tip when I get off of the phone. I'm going to do it. Yeah. That's cool. Great tips. Seriously. <laughs> I had no idea. All right, you guys. Well, um, so under the um, banner for tonight's team call is where you can post your call to action. So, um, and let's just to recap, Hannah, you want to just recap what your call to action is and then, um, and then we can let everybody go. Yeah, just post one thing that you feel like or that you know that you've been needing to do and you just haven't taken the steps or taken the action to do it. Um, it can be anything, but just something that you like immediately, the first thing that comes to your mind, you're like, I know that I'm needing to and post that so that we can hold you accountable. And if you need tips and trainings or trackers to help you or whatever, then we can all equip you and support you. So, yeah. 
Um, last little shameless plug I want to do. I have, there's a couple people that have not been able to, that are not able to go to summit, but they did buy a ticket for the cheapest price. Um, and so I personally know of two tickets that are available. Um, if anybody feels the tug to come, um, they are $175 a piece and that is the cheapest right now. They're like what close to 300 or something. Yeah. I think I know one person too actually that needs that a, ticket a ticket or that has it no ticket? that has one okay so it's probably if, not going okay so if any of you guys um want to come first of all there's about you know five of us or so on here that are coming but we have a ton of people on our team coming our whole downline we have a team dinner one night where we all hang out um and uh really just like a night on the town and we just have a team dinner. It's like, you know, um, in a room by ourselves, we get to, you know, just meet people that we haven't ever met before. Um, super fun. And it's just going to change your business. If you can see yourself doing this a year from now, you better be at summit. You just have to, you just have to, um, the experience, the, um, working out with celebrity trainers, getting up at five o'clock to do super workout in the middle of the street, this year it'll be in New Orleans. I mean, who does that? Like only beach body coaches do that. <laughs> so, um, and that's just what it's going to be. We're getting a house this year. There's a lot of people that have, you know, places where you can stay to make it cheap. So, um, you just have to figure out your way there. Carpool. There's probably a hundred beach body coaches in your area that are going to be going that would love, you know, to bring you there if you need a ride or whatever. Um, but you just have to go. So you can reach out to me. You can reach out to Laura. If you feel like you have somebody that needs a ticket, um, or know somebody, or you're just like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to sell four challenge packs in the next three days. And I'm going to buy that ticket and I'm going, and that is putting the skin in the game. And that's exactly what Hannah was talking about. Um, and then I promise you by going, it's going to pay your business back. I promise you. So you guys are amazing. This was awesome team call. Thank you, Hannah, for showing up. Um, anyway, despite the fact that you were super sick is nine 40. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you for coming next week. Same time. The very last team call of February. I hope you guys will be here. Um, and we'll get started right at nine o'clock. So, all right, you guys don't forget your call to action and, um, I'll see you guys next week. Okay. See you guys.